Hi everyone, I'm Lee Loy. Welcome to Lee's Play. I've done it. I figured out how to get the Sims 1 Legacy Edition working on Mac and it's pretty simple, but this is enthusiast hobbyist level stuff. So if you're not comfortable, click away and I won't be providing technical support. But make sure to follow every step precisely. In fact, I'm gonna be doing some things backwards just to make sure I catch out people who are just skimming the video. You have to watch this step by step. And that isn't me being mean, but so many people don't even follow the instructions. They just skim videos looking for the moments they think they're stuck at. You need to follow this precisely. I know I have an Irish accent. I'm actually going to hand write subtitles in English. So do use the subtitles feature. And the most important thing, if what's happening on your end doesn't look like what's happening on my end, stop everything and start again from the beginning. First things first, this is only for Mac computers with Apple Silicon chips, M1, M2, M3, M4. If you press about this Mac and it says you have an Intel, this is not for you. You need to YouTube the following, Bootcamp, Windows, Mac, Intel. And I'm running Mac OS Sequoia, which is the latest version. And then make sure you have at least 50 gigs of hard drive space left. You need plenty of storage on your computer so nothing's interfering. And we're only using the Steam version. If you got the EA version, I'm sorry, either get a refund or buy it a second time. I don't know how to use the EA app. And the great thing about Steam is that if you buy it and then this doesn't work for you and you try everything, you can get a refund. I feel like quite a clown because I actually bought the game, got it working, then asked for a refund because I didn't like it. I thought it was too glitchy and I wanted to wait for EA to do bug fixes. But so many Mac users were saying that they were going to go out and buy a second laptop to run The Sims 1. And I was like, please don't do that. I'll just show you. So I feel like a clown because I had to buy it the second time and I definitely won't be able to get a refund. But I sure hope you watch the ad before this video begins. Like, please don't use an ad blocker. As for The Sims 2, I haven't figured it out. If you see a video on my channel called The Sims 2, I figured it out. If I didn't, I haven't. And the final warning, The Sims 1 is glitchy. Beyond the crashes, there's a lot of game breaking bugs in this version that they put into it. For example, my game crashed every time the neighbors came over and you tried to save. It wouldn't crash in neighborhood one or neighborhood two, but it crashed in neighborhood three to eight and it crashed in my save file from the original Sims game that I brought over. In the relationship panel, it only shows five Sims you're friends with. It won't show all the relationships. And in this game, you need to be able to see your friends because you need it for job promotions and the fame career. Like there's so many game breaking bugs that EA has to fix. And I don't know if they're going to fix them. So again, final warning. You have to go and buy this game. This is my heads up. First, go to this website, getwhiskey.app. Then download the latest. Add it to your applications folder, then double click to open it. I've already installed it, so when you first open it, it might look a bit different. This might pop up on your screen with these dependencies. You have to install everything. Whatever Whiskey asks you to do, you say yes, 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 allow. Privacy things, let look at your camera, let look at your microphone. Yes, the FBI agent is already looking anyway. Allow it all. If you're feeling, mm, this is gonna give me a virus, this is gonna break my Mac, this tutorial isn't for you. This is hobbyist, enthusiast stuff we're doing. I can't stress that enough. When that's done, you're gonna be asked to create your first bottle so we're going to press create bottle and then we're going to call this the sims 1 legacy windows 10 and then what i think you should do is press browse go to your home folder i made a folder called whiskey apps here you can just do new folder to do that and then inside this i'm going to do another one called the sims 1 and then press open create press bottle configuration and just make sure it kind of looks like this. If build version has like zeros, like zero, 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 there's, I, that happened to me, just right click and remove and try again. But like you want some numbers there. If it's all zeros, there's so, I don't know. Anyway, go back here and then press Y and tricks, then press steam. Then type in the letter Y and enter. Next, next, we're installing it, finish. If there's issues and I tell you to go back to the start and try again, I always suggest people actually restart their computer. And when you restart the computer, you make sure no windows open when logging back in. That's just a tip. Anyway, let the matrix run. So sign in with your Steam ID. Then go to library and home. Scroll down and find your copy of the Sims Legacy Collection. Press install, install, accept, and don't touch. Scroll some TikToks on your phone, but don't touch the computer. Right, you know it's finished because you can see at the bottom right of my screen, I got two alerts. 
Now this is important. Press play. It's going to crash, but press play. Let it happen. Let it happen. We're going to do some breathing exercises. We're really getting into it. So it crashed. This is important. Go to Steam. Press go offline and then press Steam exit and let it shut down Steam. Then press file. Kill all bottles. Then quit whiskey. We open whiskey. Press wine tricks. DLS. VC run 2022 run. This will pop up. It will say modify setup, repair or uninstall. Uninstall. Close. Then it'll happen again. Press it again. Uninstall. Close. Excellent. Wine tricks. I know. DLLS. VC run 2022. I agree. Install. Close. I agree. Install. Close. Wine tricks. DLLS. D sound. MS direct sound. Run. You'll always be able to tell something's finished when the red traffic light goes from like a, a dot in the traffic light to like a clear traffic light. But then you can press the red X's. I recommend right clicking on Steam and pressing run. Give it time. Steam takes a long time to open. Don't press it twice. Just do it once. It will take time. It needs a minute. As you can see, it's an offline mode. This means, by the way, that every time EA patches The Sims 1 collection, you might have to do everything all the way from the beginning. And for clarity, I'm only testing this on the launch version of The Sims 1 Complete. If EA patches it and changes the coding fundamentally again, this whole YouTube video could be useless in the future. I'm not sure. But this is the version that came out on the weekend, Friday the 31st of January. I would hold up a newspaper like a hostage victim if I had a newspaper. Now, we have to do something very important. This is going to seem so weird. But you know the way on your Mac you can switch desktops like this? Like the way you can like go between them, like have multiple ones? Like if you go to like F4, you can have desktop one and desktop. You need to do this. I, this is going to seem so weird, but trust me. This is where we have to use imagination. Press play. When the screen goes black, flip over to another desktop. Flip back and let it minimize. Let it minimize like that. This will actually require rhythm, I'm sorry to say. Oh, I think we messed up the rhythm. Okay, we messed up the rhythm, but this is how janky it's going to be, but you have to trust me. Play. I'm just going to look away. Nope. Right, we want it to minimize, and then in our heads, we have to imagine the EA logo going, EA game is challenge everything. This is how janky. Oh, it's back. Oh. It's, it's working. I know that seems crazy, but this is what we have to do. I think what's happening is the intro video of the EA Games Challenge Everything thing breaks the actual game. So let's try this again, because you have to get the rhythm down. This requires rhythm. This is so chanky. I don't recommend you buy a full copy of this. This is so chanky. But let's anyway. Play. Ooh. 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 You kind of want it to minimize like that. No. Play. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Excellent. Yeah, you kind of wanted to do that on its own. Does this make sense? What I'm trying to... <laughs> yeah, that's going to require finessing on your end, but that's essentially what you need to do. So you're pressing play. Let's see if we can scientifically come up with a rhythm. Okay, I'm going to look away for like 10 seconds. EA Games. Yes, yes, you want that minimized thing to happen. Brilliant. Excellent. That's how you do it. Did that make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me, but there you go. We're not quite finished. Let's get the resolution working so it looks crisp and extra sharp. First, go to system settings, press displays, and take note of what you're currently using, uh, either with a pen and paper or the notes app on your phone. But write this down because you'll need this for when you're finished. Go to advanced, show resolutions as a list. My first option I'm calling best compatibility because every Mac will have this. But 12 80 by 720. If you're on an iMac M1, M3, M4, you'll have this. If you're on a MacBook Pro, it might be 1280 by 800 or something similar, but choose the option that's 1280. Go back to Whiskey, right click and run Steam, go to Library, then Home, The Sims Legacy Collection. Are, you, are we ready for our maneuver? We have to do our minimize thing. Play. One, two, switch. 
10 to 10. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, you have to wait for it to minimize. Give it a few more seconds. And then when we click into seven sim lane, this should all be very fast. The sound's working. It looks good. It looks great. Do you see the way the UI is the right size? This is exactly what we want. So as you can see, the game's fully working. Sound, full frame rate. If I press T, it will give me the FPS counter there on the right screen. I'm calling this best compatibility because every Mac with an Apple Silicon chip has this resolution. But if we have a look, the actual image quality is not quite sharp on the 3D graphics. If you watch my Sims 1 Let's Play I put out yesterday, you can see how sharp it looks. Let's quit. Exit Steam. Now I'm going to show you how to run it with a sharper image, but this is optional. So if you got the game working and you're like, this is good enough for me, I'm out. That's fine. Thank you for watching. But we're going to try to get it up to a sharper resolution. Every Apple Silicon Mac should also have the resolution of 2560 by 1440. If you're on a laptop, it might be 2560 by 1600. Then go to Bottle Configuration. Then press configure DPI scaling. And what you kind of want is the DPI to be about 168. Then go back. Let's run Steam again. Steam will always take time to open. Don't touch anything. Just let it open on its own. They're ready to do our maneuver. Once it goes black and you see that thing happen when it goes into the dock, give it a few seconds. Then reopen. As you can see, at this resolution, the image looks much sharper. The 3D image is sharper, but you still have your resolution. The thing we were doing in settings was to make sure that the mouse cursor that we're moving, you know, to click is big enough. Because if you change the resolution and you don't change the DPI, your mouse cursor will be tiny. And now I'm going to show you the optimal resolution if you have a 4K monitor. So my laptop's plugged into a 4K monitor or you have the 4K iMac. Change your resolution to 3840 by 2160. If you're on an iMac, you're actually having to go down to this. Your resolution might be bigger. You have to go down to 384 by 2160. Go to bottle configuration. Go to DPI scaling configure. And this needs to be changed again to about 216. You can make it bigger if you want, by the way. Okay, go back. Right click Steam and open. I have this in offline mode and yet it's asking me about cookies. I'm gonna start a new conspiracy theory. No, I'm not. Okay, I think I got this maneuver down. Black screen. We look away for a bit. Let's do it, let it do a thing. Let's do a thing. Yeah, you want that, that to happen. And then we're going back. Excellent. And then this is the optimal 4K resolution. As you can see, it looks glorious in 4K. And this is the game, like, so it works. I mean, the game is still glitchy. Like it's still, it's, it's gonna have the same issues it has on Windows. If you explore all 10, like you'll get this graphic glitch. This is happening in Windows, will happen in the Mac version. This is just how it's working until EA fixes it. But you know, the game should work as intended. Oh, Betty came with us. Betty can buy the pastry. And then when you're finished playing, exit, quit whiskey, then go to advanced in your system settings, disable the resolution list, and put it back to the screen size you're normally used to. And that's how you install The Sims 1 on Mac. As I said before, I'm not doing technical support. I'm sorry, I'm not being rude. This is very janky and expect it to be janky. This is again, enthusiast hobbying, and you have to make the decision on your end if it's worth the money to do that. Or maybe you could use your voice to email Aspire, who has the rights for The Sims 1 on Mac, and make your voice be heard that you want a release on Mac, a proper version. Do keep in mind though, Aspire is busy. They're about to release the Tomb Raider remaster, and that's like my February sorted. But I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I obviously have other Sims 1 videos, including the Legacy Collection. Do check those out. If you have questions, you can put them in the comments. As I said before, I'm not doing technical support. I'm sorry. But this is where the community has to step in and help. So maybe there can be some community solutions too. If you, if you know the answer to someone's question, do write it to them in the comments. But I feel like this is all I can do on my end. I haven't figured out yet, as of today, how to run Sims 2 on Mac. But maybe we'll figure it out in a few days, in a few weeks. We'll see. Anyway, keep safe and keep well, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.